Sometimes I seek validation in my decisions. I wish I was less afraid of judgment. I want to change how I appreciate my body figure. I wish I was less self-critical. I wish I was less anxious. I wish I was more extroverted. I wish I could support my family more. I wish I wasn't so hard on myself. up when you're a kid you always feel like you're unstoppable but going into middle school my world kind of changed I met some people who were not very kind and that started kick-started the insecurity that I would face a specific moment I remember I took a picture of myself and I showed it to my friend I was like I think this picture is so cute I want to post it and then she goes oh no don't post that it was a picture of like me in the sunlight and you could really see like like my acne and like I had this really big tooth gap. Um, you could really see that in the photo. And I think she just saw that. She didn't see me, she just saw that. I already had a very fragile self-esteem during that time period. And to hear people kind of reinforce my already negative self-perceptions, it, it was rubbing salt in a wound. I just spent so much time in my adolescence just doing negative self-talk. And I realized that I never ever said a positive thing to myself since the beginning of middle school. And I said, like, what if I just told myself something nice about myself, like for once? I like, I was just like, okay. I looked in the mirror, I was like, Nella, you're confident. You're great, you're beautiful, you're amazing. You're perfectly fine. And I just kept that up and I, kept doing it for days and weeks and months. I think it was a specific day I like realized, oh my God, it like actually worked. I looked at that one photo of myself that I showed to my friend and I looked at it and I said, wow, I look completely different. Because in that photo I wasn't smiling, but I was just kind of talking to myself. I can like see it in your eyes, you look much happier. Hearing the way I sounded when I talked to other people I got louder, I started speaking louder. I just sounded more confident. I realized that I valued my mental state more than I did my physical state. And I just thought, wow, there's just many great things about myself that I didn't realize until now. When I was at my you know, deepest point, Everything was kind of building up, you know, in terms of school pressure, pressure from relationships, um, and the battles that I was fighting inside. And I think all of the demons that were kind of inside of me were just stuck there, and they kind of piled up on top of each other, and eventually they kind of exploded. That's a problem that I've faced a lot of times, is just kind of keeping everything stuck inside. I had that mask on very much of the time. You know, I was very good at hiding what I was going through at school and stuff. I seemed perfect perfectly happy and cheery and everything like that. But, you know, I was battling with my own things and it wasn't very obvious at all. And, you know, at that one point where I was, you know, a, like it was just too much, I think that's when my mask started to slip off and I kind of realized that I can't keep stuffing it all inside of me. At first it was very hard, you know, because I was not used to opening up to people at all. I was at that point of, you know, everything erupting out of me. I, I kind of forced me to go tell the people closest to me. And from that, I kind of learned how, you know, cathartic it could be to share what I was feeling and open up. I think through this entire experience, I became much more self-aware, more in tune with my mind and body, much more empathetic. My emotional intelligence was skyrocketing and also just being very grateful for the little things in life and learning to be where my feet are, essentially you know, staying grounded and being in the present moment. And I think all of those lessons have really, really helped me um, to be the person I am today. I was never around my parents when I was first growing up because I grew up in Kazakhstan until I was like six. But when we moved to the States and I started living with my parents, 
I've always had issues with my dad. He said, like, I did nothing that was important. I'm not achieving anything and I'm not doing anything. That's when it started it getting, it started getting bad in like eighth grade for me. Um, my sister, my sister died and that, I think that made him snap. Like his, like he went like completely crazy. That stuck for about two years, year and a half. Even though my dad used to be like so condescending, my mom was always there to like tell us that she's proud of us. And she was always super nice and a very good mother. And seeing her like struggle so much and him like just always getting on her nerves made me so angry. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't keep seeing her sad like that. Last summer, it was a normal day. And again, my parents were arguing, which was pretty normal. And then when we went to sleep, I woke up at like 12 or one. My dad was never a drinker, but that night when I went downstairs, there was alcohol, like bottles on the ground. And I came into my parents' bedroom and they were like arguing like really like loud. And you could, I could tell my dad was like really drunk. At that point, I was, I was not scared. I was so done with it. And I, I finally stood up to him and said like, you have to leave, like nobody wants you around anymore. And I told him, I don't, uh, to me, he's not my father. And we got into an altercation, which ended up my mom calling the police. When the police arrested him and they took him away, that was the last time I saw him. I've actually been more productive since he left because it's not him telling me what to do. It's more like I am my own person. And I know I have to, like, I do have to do these things to become what I want. I think I wouldn't be this person if it weren't for my mom. And I definitely wouldn't have set up for myself if it weren't for my mom. I think seeing her battle through all those years, it made me want to stand up too. My life feels so much brighter. I wake up in the morning and I, I don't hear yelling or anything. And I love coming home at night because I can see my mom and I hang out with my little brother. Yeah, I, home is safe for me now. Even if it takes you months or years, like I did, even if it takes you forever, even if it takes a thousand years, if you're still able to come back from hurt and pain and just so much negativity, I think that makes you a very strong person. Um, even though it might not feel like it now, it seems like we don't have that much time, but we have you know, so many days left on this earth. I think it's really important to make the most of it and you know, put yourself first in the process. Standing up for what you believe in and what you care about and love. Those are the most important things in life. When so you truly care about something, you'll never lose it, you know, but you gotta protect it and you gotta keep it safe. I'm there for my family now. I'm learning how to listen to myself more. I'm not as shy as I was before. I've grown in showing love to the people I care the most. I'm feeling more confident. Confident. Confident in myself. I'm the most confident I've ever been in my entire life.